Alright, so I think I'm recording now. So today I'm going to be playing a little bit of an old game. I'm going to be playing Golden Axe. And in order to do that, I think it's ready now. I have this very cool looking like Sega game, I guess. So it's a game that allows you to to launch many other games. And this is my library. I do have Streets of Rage 1 and 2, Golden Axe 1 and 2. In both cases, I only played the number one. So probably one day I will play Streets of Rage. And I also have Comic Zone, which is a pretty cool game, but I think it's hard. I don't know. Without being able to save the state and stuff, I'm not really sure I can I can beat Comic Zone. Then, yeah, like let's, let's go to it. My console settings. Ah. I think I'm going to play without pixel scaling. I think it's... I like the how it looks. And probably in st on stream it's going to be look, to look better if it's not optimized or just with the original mode. No scan lines, I think. <laughs> I think that's a little bit too much. Alright, so how do I select the game? I tried it once, but I only had Golden Axe. I guess. Alright. Oh, look at that. Looks good. I love Golden Axe. I used to have a Sega Mega Drive. I guess a Genesis in the United States. And I had this game. And man, it's, it's amazing. I always go with the dwarf. Um, can have extra life? Well, maybe. I haven't played in a long time. Let's have a little bit extra life. <laughs> so A button is magic. B button is attack. C button is... Yeah, but which one is which? That is the... Oh, this is nice. The music in this game is so good. <laughs> right. Yeah, hold on, before I start. I guess I could go... Difficulty? I don't know if it's... Okay, oh, look. Can I actually check how... This looks... Other invaded the castle, has taken the king and princess prisoners. I know in the arcade there used to be one guy here, and then you meet him, and then he tells you this. My good friend Alex was also killed in the battle. To defeat them, and to bring Alex, by the way, is the one who you meet, so they didn't want to defeat him. To bring peace to the land is my duty. Alright. This is jam. This is hitting. This right. So the other button is. Yeah, you have to be careful. Hey. Yeah, a few, a few tricks. Ah, oh, but they got me there. I like how there is no parallax in this, so if you see the background, usually in this kind of games you expect to see something in, in, in a few layers, and each layer is moving at a different speed. I think you can see that in Streets of Rage. I remember that Streets of Rage had that, maybe only in the, the intro. And I find it funny also that there is no scaling, so you know, it makes sense, it's a Mega Drive game, right? Like 24 MHz. But the, you get forward and the character doesn't really become bigger or smaller. There is a lot of reuse of sprites, which also makes sense. 
di Sira. Oh no! That's the infamous luck. No! Because <laughs> the moment I... I stand up, then he tries to... Oh! He tries to get into the dinosaur. God, I love these sounds. The thing with the dwarf is that he doesn't have much magic, so I already have full magic at the moment. So it doesn't do much damage. But I really like the range that he has with the axe. And there is a trick in this game. You just <laughs> wait and jump. If you can get one in each side, then you are going to be in pretty good stop spot. Oh no! Ah. See, like I got into the lock. You can also teach them. So they, they will know, like if they are going to jump, they will usually they will move to oh normal enemies, if they know that you can do this, they will move back, like up or down, so you cannot get them. Oh. <laughs> More than I need. Also, one thing you can do in this game, they will follow you. So you can go up, and they will follow you, then you stop and you hit, and they will just get into Our small enemy dead father is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the turtle village. This map is very cool. You can see that I chose to have the Streets of Rage kind of thing in the sides of the, the screen. Sometimes it's running without me really... Oh! Did I do? Ah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> It's a trick also, like, you can time your attacks, so you never finalize them. Because you, you do two attacks and then the last one is stronger, and it's like a finish move. Oh no! Ah, oh, he was faster than I was. I don't trust my, my running, because sometimes I don't try to run and he runs, and sometimes I try to run and... Hi, this second is working well, so I should be... Oh no! She got me. Ah! Oh. At the end of the game, we are going to see the credits, and they have a lot of names that are based on whiskeys and different liquors and stuff, so they, they have a very interesting sense of humor. Developers of this game. Shoot it. Oh no, she got me. <laughs> oh no, like that. I didn't mean to run there. Oh. 
I... That was strong. Oh, actually, there was... Alright, so I should have used my magic there. But this guy is gonna give me health. There we go. Alright, so I thought I was going to face a couple of big guys there. Village was on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south across the sea. <laughs> this is a very cool screen. I think I remember this one. The fantasy of this world is great. I would have liked to see it. And then you can see, this is the turtle, right? Like, you can see it down there. I think there was, there was a tree here, right? Alright, I think. Alright. Ah, the infamous. Actually, I don't want the... You can't get them out? Yeah! <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, see, like, this is this is going to be fun, because there is one, one sign here in this area. Can I actually pause again? Yeah. You go here, and this, this is very funny, like you see it says Deb, then there are many theories about this, like the, the main theory is that they wanted to say bed, because this, this part is not in the arcade, this sign, and it's only the Mega Drive, and the, the main theory is that they wanted to write bed, but somehow they thought that like maybe because they are Japanese and they write it the other way, so maybe they got confused and they wrote it that way. But I honestly I don't think that's how it is because I know yeah that could be one thing that they may be thinking like that and that's why they left it is kind of a joke. But the main thing is that in Japanese deb or debu means fat fat guy right like when you see someone who is very fat and big you say ah debu debu. So like who, who look who is going to come out of this door right. So, there you go. <laughs> he is Deb. <laughs> he is Deb guy. So yeah, I think I think in reality this is this is what it is. Like it's it's a joke to what you get out of it. So I think actually you get two of them. Yeah. Oh no. This is the best way to, to kill enemies, just put them at one side of the screen. It's safest. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I guess I cannot use the magic. Again, I'm, I'm always very conservative with magic. I think I'm gonna... Well, probably I shouldn't have used it now, but... Uh. It's also interesting to see the, the colors. These guys are yellow. Then I think you get also like black ones later. They are even stronger. There we go. Oh, you get the light. Oh no! Oh, he got me. I feel very kind of rusty. So it's going to be... If I get to the final boss, it's going to be hard because... There are, I think there were always skeletons spawning all the time. Maybe you can kill them, something like that. Well, I gave myself extra life, but I think I have four continues. So. I don't know what the, what the meaning of 49 is, there's probably a meaning for that. 
are the ones. Probably there is, there is meaning for that as well. There, there is a meaning in everything in this game. Ooh. That's very welcome health. We have gone in close to the vicinity of the castle, but the way is blocked by enemy lines. We must stir the fiend's path to reach the castle. I think this one is the one in which you get a lot of skeletons and stuff, right? I got like a black guy here, right? Which is a copy of me. I think that's that may be the boss of this stage. Ah, not a copy of me, alright. You have to be very careful with the Usually, I think they don't come running, so you see them coming from the border of the screen, so you can start running. Ah, perfect. Oh no! Chunks of life, all right. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that, that was the end. So yeah, ah, that's my magic bug. I always forget to use it. The feed spot was a great eagle. We are taken across the sky to the castle. Now the final battle begins. I thought there was a cave, but maybe maybe it's part of the castle. I think there is one area which is kind of very dark and you have to go jump across areas. It was an eagle! And you see the eagle here. Alright, yeah, but... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
I love this game. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think this was hard. There are like uh, red guys in this. Oh, I thought I was out of his ring. I... Oh, no. Guys are like no. Not very heroic to oh to go like this. Oh no. Yes, I will continue. Which is... It's about to fight. Alright, then... Ooh, <laughs> that was clutch. There we go. Perfect positioning. <laughs> if you manage to get them there, then it's just... I mean, it's a little bit like cheating, right? But uh, it's, it's golden axe, you know? It should be called golden horn or something like that. In the arcade, it's called, it's called golden axe because the dwarf has uh, a golden axe. But for some reason in the Mega Drive, it's a steel axe. It's, it's just a silver color. I think I have another... Another knight here. And then I go into that section. That there, I didn't mean to, to run. Oh no, they got me! There we go. Well, you know what's coming to you, man. Oh! <laughs> I see him. There we go. There we go. It's funny because they, they only act like this when they are coming out of the screen. Because if they are inside the screen and you try to do this, they will move up or down. But when they are coming into the screen, it's like they have the, the AI is. I was going to say disabled, but you know, <laughs> that's what it is basically. This is the final boss, but I don't think I think there is one more screen after this. Because I think the final boss looks like this. This is like the hard version. Oh, yes.
Uh, yeah, he has pretty strong. I think that'd be good. But in the final boss, you cannot do that because those skeletons never die. Or they keep spawning or something like that. There we go. Uh, behold! All right. Accept my utmost gratitude for our rescue. No, 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 this is... I thank you for your courage, for you have rid us of the hideous death other. Really? But I have a feeling that he might have been taken or... Sometimes he did disappear into that door. Alright, so I killed the other, but yeah. I have to get into that door. Did you go into battle for me yet once more, my valiant dwarf? Yes, my lord, he said. That makes sense. I was confused. So. Yeah, this is the screen I remembered. This screen... And I think that guy is going to come to fight with me. Yeah, I would like him to... Right. No! <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. Did you see the... the intelligence of those guys? There we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? Right. This guy's. There we go. <laughs> Run just in case. Right. I could use some help. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yet another case in which I didn't want to jump, but... There we go. Well, can we do the same to you guys? No. He stopped me to wait. Okay. Alright, now I think this is the father now. Oh, not the father, but whoever is the. What's his name? It says K E. I 
I think that returns. Oh no! I think in his case, you could see, like, he's shooting the same thing, but I think actually it goes back to him. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh, well, I guess it was a good moment today. Ah, yeah, he has all the magics. That dragon, I think, is actually the girl. Oh, man. It's punishing me. No! So every time he does this, he does one more point of damage to me, right? Right, so I have to be extremely careful. Oh, again, like this is two points of damage. Oh shit. No, this is going to be. Ay, ay, ay. Man, I'm getting a little bit pain in my finger. Oof. My last credit. Oh no! Yeah, this this skeletons are hideous. Oh no! No! Yeah. I have two more lives. I think after that I'm out of continues. Oh no! Oh, I'm so afraid. <laughs> I guess the PlayStation controller is not that good for this kind of games, right? the end of, of that fight. Do I have only one life left? No, alright. It's not the end of that life. Oh! That is the end of this life, though. No. This is also so much easier when you play with, with another person. Because one person can take care of the, of the skeletons. Clutch. That was clutch. I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it. <laughs> the last point of life of the last life. Thank you, gallant one. Now the people will be able to leave. <laughs> I love the pros of this game also. To build and to prosper in peace. May you be titled the savior of our land. Our kingdom. Now prepare for a grand feast. I like how they call him gallant. <laughs> we praise your acts of bravery and deeds of courage. Nice. Finally, they have defeated all of the evil clan. The land shall revive in peace, and the people will talk of your deeds as a legend in the years to come. I like how it says Finn. Like, it's like Spanish, could be Italian, could be French, right? But, and now it's where the cast is interesting. Because they, 
they don't use the real names. Basically, they, for some reason, they all have like nicknames based on based on beers or whiskeys or stuff. Like Henninger, I don't really know all these things, all these all these beers, but I I read it somewhere. And even some names that are kind of obscure, it's like one whiskey which is very rare in one specific part of Scotland or something. So yeah. Attack level B, C. Attack level C, move C. Alright, I, I don't know that. Attack level D, move level C. Alright. So I guess they also do more damage, depending on the color. So the red one was the strongest in this case, it was A and B. While the bronze was is B and C, right? Yeah, I think they are more mobile than just C in this case. Storchinaya, Strobaya. I, I think that's familiar to me even. Lemanaya, <laughs> Crucia. Alright, so it's the, the red one at the strongest, right? Skeleton. I wonder when they say 89 LBS, is that Bounce? You know? Bad Brothers, Lieutenant Bitter. In Spanish you would say Libras, but in, in English it's pounds, right? So... Surgeon Malt and Surgeon Hop. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> the ingredient for a good beer, right? With Colonel Peter and General Peter. General Heartland. Heartland is a whiskey, right? I think, I think I know that one. It's funny, the bitters, they are like Lieutenant, Colonel and General, right? Chicken Leg. There you are. He looks like a chicken leg. He does look like a genuine chicken leg. That is that is true. <laughs> Specialty, wagging tail. Blue dragon, red dragon. I don't know if that is a risky or anything. Wait, there might be there is something like that, right? Is it dragon? Maybe not. Blue thief, green thief. All right. Belongings, pot. <laughs> Belongings, meat. So are you telling me that you can cast magic by taking pot? That's the... <laughs> Villager A, Villager B. It's funny that the girl is much taller than the... This other Junior, alright, so they call him Junior here. Attack level A, move level B. Yeah, but what really makes this other dangerous is the skeletons. It's gonna swap. <laughs> it's a pretty death bringer. Ooh, okay. 667. That's. I think it's as much as uh, two fat guys together, right? Attack level A, move level A. Axe Butler, Tyrese Fleur, and Gilius Thunderhead. Alright, Gilius Thunderhead. That makes a lot of sense, because he's got. His magic is the <laughs> king and princess. His magic is the the lightning, and he really brings the thunder with his with his horns. Right? It's kind of funny. Axe Butler and he's using a sword. Like Tyrese Flirt makes sense because she she has a dragon, right? Oh, look at that! So to the side, Takosuke. Tako is octopus in Japanese, actually. <laughs> Soft to the side, Moto CBX 1000. I think that's a motherboard that was back in the day. Hamtak! There you are. Waka! Waka Waka! <laughs> Kionsi Kionsi. This probably is a vodka or something. Visual effects gain. You know, I wonder how they feel about this nowadays. Because. Chisuke. Alright, that's like that sounds like a name. Because probably at the time it was like let's have fun he he but now they would probably like to have their own names, right? Rather than Broko. I think it's I'm Broko. Han Kyoku. Na nan kyoku. Nan kyoku. But the sound in this game is pretty good. Deki. It's pretty epic, pretty memorable. Imoki. At least for me I guess I 
I grew up playing this game, right? Even though it took me all the lives to, to be him, it, 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 it was much easier for me to do it back in the day. I didn't have to practice, and I think it's just easier with the uh, real Mega Drive controller. Vinyl Boy. Vinyl Boy. Now that's. Gun. This could be a dead. So. Pros 400. Come on now. Opa Opa! Oh, mother of god! Opa in Japanese means like uh, big boobs. Because it's what you do. You, you do you do Opa to a baby, right? So you have the big boob which is filled with milk. <laughs> so Opa Opa was the producer, I think it was like that. Team Shinobi, alright. Arcade game design. So I guess they, they were the ones making Shinobi for the Genesis, which was a pretty good game. Presented by Sega. Alright, that's cool. I <laughs> don't remember this part. Of course, Julius Thunderhead for me is the most fun. Used player 12. I guess that's 12 lives. Strength is 48.5. Alright. I saw that's a B. Alright. Ah, oh, and it, it tells me how many times I finished like this. Alright, so you can be A. I would imagine maybe Kamiya Hideki from Platinum Games. He's probably an A plus 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 something like that. You know, people like him. But yeah, maybe back in the day, I probably I still have that cartridge somewhere. So I wonder if I could go and and check it. That could be that could be cool. Sega 1989. You know. So I'm 1982. I got the Mega Drive early 90s maybe. Like how melee is such an important thing in this game. You cannot you cannot see actually how many times you finished in each level unless you finish the game again. But well there we have it. That's Golden Axe. It's a pretty good game. If you haven't played it, I totally recommend it. It's I think it's you can get it for 100 yen or even for free, you know? Like if there are like oh I can't leave. Alright, that's how I live. All right. Online multiplayer. I wonder if there is a Ah oh, there are achievements actually. Alright, there we go. All the knacks to I choose magic when no enemies are present. I did do it. Collect two hundred magic, I collected forty one. Alright. Ooh, Streets of Rage, get to the final boss without using a continue, that's not going to happen. I will play Streets of Rage as, as well, but... What are these challenges? X should be here. Take on level 8 of the duel and win as Chilius Thunderhead, but your health is low. Alright. Alright, so that's the duel, is you can... You can fight against these these guys. Alright. I wonder if there is any No, this is the extras, right? Could be some trivia, some images or something. Oh well, there you There you have it. So yeah, that's a fun game. It's 100 yen, I think. It's one of these games, it's 100 yen in Steam, or you can get them for free. Totally worth it. Oh, there is a golden axe actually here. Well, that's going to be it for me. And yeah, next time, probably Streets of Rage. That's, I, I want to play that as well. But yeah, have fun!